Hi guys, and welcome to another Tips and Tricks Monday. This tip is about making your development life better by improving the hot code swap or hot code reload functionality of your install JDK. Let's find out what that means. All right, so I'm in a very simple Java project. You have one main method. It has an endless while loop. It waits for two seconds, and every two seconds you create a new wrapper, as in musician. And the wrapper has one method, it's called spit a line. And the only line a wrapper can spit is, hi, my name is. So when you run that program, or rather debug it, you should see, hi, my name is being printed out to the console every two seconds. All right, now when you add something to that method, like uh, Slim Shady, you compile again, and then the class gets reloaded, and now you can see, hi, my name is Slim Shady. But if you try to extract that name to a method and try to add a new method to the wrapper class or add a new field to the wrapper class, for example, you hit reload. And then you get an error saying hot swap failed, add method is not implemented. And that's a limitation. You cannot add new methods or new fields and do hot code reload. But there's actually a way around that. And for that, you can open up a browser and search for something called DCEVM. And you'll find the GitHub page. It's enhanced class redefinition for Java. And it's basically replaces, it's a virtual machine, replaces your install OpenJDK and Oracle JVM or serves as a sort of a plugin. You can get it for Java 11, for Java 8, Java 7, a couple of releases. And when you download it, you will actually download an installer jar file, which I already have on my machine somewhere. And you need to run it as administrator. Very important. So open up the command prompt here as administrator. And then you can simply say Java dash jar and you reference the installer jar. It opens up after a second or two. It tries to scan your hard drive for install JDKs in JREs. And you'll see a tab saying, has that JDK Arabian been replaced by DCVM? and or has it been installed as an alternative. And you can install it as an alternative and try it out and later on replace your JDK with it completely. So hit that button here, I already did that. And then you can run your program with this command line option, xxalt JVM, and then hopefully you'll get hot code reload. Let's have a look. Let's stop our program, go to the run configuration, and paste in the xxaltjvm dcvm here. Then we'll just clean that up again. We'll do the very same thing. Run your program in debug mode. Then add Slim Shady. That should work. Has actually always worked, right? Hi, my name is Slim Shady. Now let's extract a new method and see if that works. Name. Recompile. You see again, it got reload, no error message. And let me just add a couple of new lines here. Slim, slim, shady, shady. So you see that it's actually real. And the next time the class gets reloaded, you'll see, hi, my name is slim, 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 shady, shady, shady. So you can add new methods, new fields and whatnot. The only limitation is with the DCVM you just downloaded, you cannot replace super classes. But apart from that, it's a pretty cool tool. All right, you now know what DCVM is and does. And the only limitation is, apart from the superclasses, you cannot really use it with frameworks like Spring and Hibernate because they have a lot of configuration that needs to be reloaded. For that, you need other tools, and we'll have a look at them in future tricks and tips. But until then, stay tuned.